Katrina. Welcome back to another episode in my channel. It has been a while, but let's kick start this topic about time. So today I'll be sharing with you how to protect your time. But before we dive in on how to protect your time, I'll be sharing with you fun facts about time and why you should protect our time. So to start off this video, here are some fun facts about time. Number one. Everyone in the world has the same amount of time, okay? Yes, you and I, we have 24 hours a day, okay? Successful people out there, presidents out there, leaders out there, they have 24 hours a day. I'm not kidding, okay? Everyone has 24 hours a day. If you're watching my video and you think that you have 25 hours a day, please contact me, share with me how you have 25 hours a day, okay? So fun fact number one, everyone has the same amount of time. And number two, life will only get busier. Now, if you think that oh, you're going to wait until that you are a little bit more free to pursue your dreams and passion, it's going to be a long wait, okay? Because of the development of the communications that we have, uh, the way we work, now everything is online, okay? Life will only get busier. That's one fact number two. Number three, a lot of people want a piece of your time. Trust me, yes. Okay, whether you are a self-employed, you're working alone, working for yourself, or working for a company, okay, there will be many people who want a piece of your time. And lastly, no one will protect your time but yourself. Okay, I, I can't help you protect your time. I can't even help my four-year-old protect his time. He runs his own time. So here are three reasons why you should protect your time. Now, number one is to prevent a burnt out. Now, if you don't protect your time, it means you are giving away pieces of your time, okay, saying yes to many things that probably you don't even want to say yes to, okay, but because of obligation, you feel bad, you feel guilty, you are saying yes, yes, you will suffer a burnt out. So that's reason number one, why you should protect your time. You do not want to overwork yourself because you want to conserve the energy that you have to go after what matters to you most. Number two, why we should protect our time is because we want to keep our goals in focus, in our sight. Okay, so if we are using our time for any other thing, yes, we will lose focus. Okay, if you set one thing to do per day, will you be able to accomplish it as compared to setting 100 things to do a day? Yeah, the odds for you to accomplish 100 things will be lesser than doing that one thing that you have set out to do okay so reason number two why you should protect your time so that you can keep your goals in focus and number three as mentioned why you should protect your time because no one will protect for you no one will protect your time the time is always ticking okay so now that you are watching this video yes time is ticking and after you click away the video time is ticking as well so no one is going to protect your time my mom can't protect my time for me so yes as a mother to a four-year-old i can't even protect my son's time so do you think that my son is able to follow through every single task that i've given him no, the answer is no. It's difficult because everyone we are running on our own time. So no one is able to protect your time but you. You have the ability to protect your own time. Okay, so please spend your time wisely. Here are four ways to protect your time. Now, number one is to be disciplined in setting aside uninterrupted time to do the things that matter to you most. I choose to set aside uninterrupted time to do this to do this video because this video matters to me now my husband is unable to help me set aside this time okay oh, most likely he will be the one that's distracting me okay so you, only you have the ability to set aside pockets of time to work on your dreams and goals okay if you think that you do not have enough time you are still saying that uh, you're always busy i learned something okay i always say that i'm always very busy okay but that's not the way to do it that's not the correct way to say it. okay i should just admit that i have poor time management skills <laughs> okay so i try not to say that i'm busy because if i'm unable to do whatever that is matters to me most then um yeah my time management skills is bad i need to learn it improve it uh, don't even look at your phone no no whatsapp as well okay uninterrupted time to work on what matters to you most 
And number two, as mentioned previously, is to make full use of the do not disturb mode on the phone. I just figured out how to turn on the do not disturb mode on my phone. I, I haven't been using it previously, okay? For a little one and a half year using this phone, okay? I, I, I knew about this function, but I never tried it, okay? Until recently, I was fiddling on the settings on my phone and I decided to try out, okay, like, do not disturb. I do not want anyone to disturb me, okay? Then I realized it totally changed the productivity level of the day okay or even for that hour that i choose to turn my phone into do not disturb mode okay and that includes the communication that i'm using on my computer you know communication platforms are easily accessible especially on the computers you can use whatsapp on the computer we use telegram on the computer okay and that's the problem because when i'm working on something that needs my 100 percent focus and when a message comes Ding, 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 a notification will notify me, okay? And I get distracted. So when I am in full focus mode, when I know that I need to protect my time, yes, I will shut down all communication platform on my computer because it's distracting to me. Try it. Number three on how to protect my time is to write every single task down. I think I shared with you previously on my podcast, okay, that I'm using this to do list. Okay, to do is an application for me to track whatever that I need to do. Okay, so everything that needs my attention, I will uh, create a task, okay, and write it down. Because I know that I'm not going to dive in straight away during that time. Okay, so for example, monthly payroll, I need to generate captions, I need to text this person, I need to plan for this project, okay, I will write everything down. When I know that I have pockets of time or even a day without any meetings or any errands appointments, okay, I will dive straight into this app and I am always on track on what I need to do, okay? Because I always believe that our brain is not used to store things, it is used to process things. I came to a point that I cannot store things in my brain anymore. There's too many things that needs my attention, okay? So I use this app to do is to help me store whatever that I need to do, even grocery shopping. Alright, so I have cultivated a habit to write down whatever that I need to do on the app. But there are times where, I mean, information comes to me really fast, really quickly. I forgot to write the task in the app. And I really forgot about it. Okay, so if you are trying to explore on this application, kickstart the habit of writing down whatever that you need to do. Every single thing that you need to do, write it down. Okay? Number four, knowing when to say no. So important. Okay, now, in order for us to protect our time, we really need to learn how to say no. Previously, I was a miserable person because I was saying yes to everyone. Okay, in the past, I had difficulty rejecting people. I, I don't know, because I grew up in a culture where it's a paise, you know, in Singapore, we, we say paise to reject people. So I'm always a very paise person. Okay, so when, when people come to me to ask me for a favor or to ask me to do something, okay, I will usually say yes. Until I reach a point in my life that I'm overworked, I'm drained out, I'm saying yes to so many things, I neglected my dreams and goals. And that was a point of time where I realized that, okay, I need to stop saying yes. Now, you have the ability to really say no. You really have the ability. Okay, it takes courage to say no, okay, but what helped me to say no to many things, to the many opportunities around me, okay, is by identifying, really clear, is by identifying what matters to me most, what is my goal in my life, okay, because when I say yes to something, I'm saying no to taking this video, I'm saying no to, to my dreams and goals, okay, unless the thing that I'm saying yes to brings me to where I want in the future. Yes, then I will say yes. So if you are saying yes to every other thing, perhaps you are not clear on what goals that you have in your life. So start setting a goal, start prioritizing your time and know what matters to you most. Okay, what matters to you most may not matter to the people around you, okay? For example, I love to speak, I love to do videos like what you are watching right now, okay? but. My husband may not see eye to eye to it. My mom will be thinking, hey, how come Petrina got so much time I'm going to do this kind of video? Okay. <laughs> okay, but 
came at this method to me. They may not see eye to eye, but I'm still gonna do it anyway because this matters to me a lot. So take note that opportunities, whether they are for you or whether they are not for you, will keep coming to you. You really need to know what you need to say no to and what you need to say yes to. Alright, so that's all. Thank you for spending this time with me on the fun facts of time, why we should protect our time and the four ways that I've mentioned on how to protect your time. Now, I hope you will dive into something that matters to you most, okay? Pursuing your dreams and passion. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am Katrina and I'm excited to speak to you again in the next episode.